Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Today is actually the 24th of January 2020. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What an awesome God we have. have. Friday the 24th of January 2020. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, he knows what he's doing. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above the earth, no other. Jesus is the way. Thank you, Lord. That you radiate through your people, Father, your might with your strength. Thank you, Jesus, for your deliverance, for your salvation and your power. Thank you for your grace that abounds. Almighty God, you are worthy to receive glory, worthy to receive praise, worthy to receive adoration. Thank you for your touch. Thank you for your visitation. Thank you for the turn around. Thank you that Christ is being revealed in our life. The angels have got ahead of us. I rearrange all activities of this day. And I, Father, it's lining up with God's plans and God's plans, plans and God's purpose for our life. All our interactions, all, all our all interaction activities are lining up with God's purpose for our lives. Today we spoke about David and Saul. But and how there was so much jealousy in Saul to to the point of to the point of pursuing David to kill him. In so many instances, David decided not to fight war with war, not to fight evil with evil, but to let God be the true judge. Yes, nowadays many of us sing the song that the women sing. You know, in the olden days, where it provoked that, you know, jealousy. It wasn't all due to that, but I believe it did play a part. When the women went around singing, Saul has crushed his thousands, but David is 10,000. The Bible says it's unwise to compare ourselves from one to another. Why is that? Because the manufacturer knows the function of everything that he manufactures. God, the, the, uh, the ultimate architect, the porter, he knows what he's making us for. So if, for instance, Saul was, you know, appointed to kill, a, you know, 10,000, then it was God's plan for him to kill 10,000 and not 100,000. So why then we, do we use the very same differences in assignment to spite one from another? So... I believe that God is bringing conviction to me and to, you know, many of us, like I said, it's even so much, even in Christendom, you know, in God's people, in God's people that have been called into the fivefold ministry, uh, priests, pastors, evangelists, you know, apostles, prophets, you know, it, it happens even in Christendom. And I believe that need to be utterly destroyed because I guess at the time where David and Saul were were selected, Israel, which was a, you know, God's own people. God says Israel is my firstborn. You know, you know, God loved Israel. God loved the people of Israel. So in the same light, we are like the spiritual Israel in our time, and we pray that that spirit of comparison that brings unnecessary jealousy and pain and causes things friction in in the body of Christ will be utterly will be utterly destroyed it will utterly fall for for Christ's sake because like i said the manufacturer knows the function of what is manufactured so why do we then want to you know it's as if we want a doll to do the same job as what a a I don't even know what other item to say. We want a, a door to do the same job as what, uh, what what else can I compare the thing? What an iron, for instance, would do. You know, they are totally different items. We are all different with different functions, different qualities. In fact, the Bible says we have been fearfully and wonderfully made. We were not a big bang theory. <laughs> we were thought of. We were well planned, 
He said he wove us together in our mother's womb. So God put the intri- every intricate detail in our lives. And I pray that every tendency is in us to, you know, cause friction in the body of Christ. And, and that's why God knew ahead of time. He said, I pray, that was a pray- prayer that God, Jesus prayed. I pray that they may be one, even as we are one. We are different, but we are called to oneness because we are serving the same God, the same Father, the same Spirit, you know. So the, those are the essentials that should hold us together and bring glory to his name. Populating the kingdom of God and depopulating the enemy's kingdom. Oh, yes, thank you, Jesus. Almighty God, Raka Sakatob, 